Let's pray by confessing God's word. Psalm 103, beginning from verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all our iniquities. Who heal all our diseases. Who redeem our soul from destruction. Crown us with loving kindness and tender mercies. Fills our mouth with good things. Our youth is renewed like the eagle. He has a good righteousness and justice on behalf of all who are oppressed. As heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards us. As far as the east is from the west, so has he removed our transgression from us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He feeds our mouth with good things. In this season of celebration, celebrating the goodness of Jesus, celebrating the love of God that came down dwelling amongst us, he will fill your mouth with good things. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, this is a season of joy. It is a season of gratitude. It is a season of celebration. It is a season of great, great and overwhelming joy to the glory of God. God, welcome to the presence of the Most High in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Today I will be talking to you on good news. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Our subtopic is Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, to all our viewers, Merry Christmas. To everyone, Merry Christmas. The loved ones, Merry Christmas. Family members, Merry Christmas. CGMI, Merry Christmas. The church at large, Merry, Merry Christmas. Hallelujah. Jesus is the reason for the season. The reason for Christmas is Jesus. Wow. Life has no meaning without Jesus. Life has no meaning without him. Without him, we can do nothing. Hallelujah. It's not of him that will it, not of him that run it. It's of the Lord that showed mercy. Love came down. Dwelling amongst us. Signifying the overwhelming love our Father has for us. It is Merry Christmas, beloved. May this Christmas season be a season of joy for you and your family. May this Christmas season be a season of gratitude for you. Season of celebration. Season where men will celebrate and congratulate you for the love of God and for the presence of the Most High over your life and your family in the name of Jesus. Amen. Christmas season is a season of celebration. And so you will celebrate to the glory of God. Christmas season is a season of good news. You will bet good news in the name of Jesus. Christmas season is a season of great joy. So it's joy for you. Get ready for joy. Get ready to celebrate joy. Get ready for joy. Business, joy. Family, joy. Marriage, joy. Education, joy. Vocation, joy. Joy, joy, joy. That is the reason for celebrating Christmas. Joy. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas to every one of you. And I decree and declare, as many of you that are unable to stand on the bed of affliction, I pray that the love of God will come upon you. The love of God that brings healing to us will come upon you. Healing will come upon you in the name of Jesus. Weakness, we command strength to come out of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will live to testify of the goodness of God. It is season of celebration. No sickness will hold you down. No power of the enemy will hold you down. No affliction of the wicked will hold you down. You will celebrate in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Receive your healing. Receive your strength. Receive your strength now in the name of Jesus. It is our season of celebration. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This season reminds us of the love of God to us. The Bible says in John 3 verse 16, For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. He gave his best gift to us. For God so loved us, he gave us his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him, that look on him, will not perish, but we have everlasting life, will be part of this joy, will be part of celebration, will be part of good news. For God so loved the world, he gave us a unique gift. That gift is what I present to you today. That unique gift from the throne of grace. 
It is the gift of joy. It is the gift of salvation. It is the gift of good news. It is the gift of abundance. It is the gift of overflowing joy. He gave it to us freely. I pray that you will receive this gift in this season and beyond this season. In the name of Jesus, I pray you will live with this gift. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not turn your back against this gift. In the name of Jesus, amen. Verse 17 of John 3 says, For he did not come to condemn us. We were already in condemnation, beloved. He did not come. The purpose of the gift was not to come and condemn us was not to minimize us, was not to mock us, was not to laugh at us. No, but he was going to show us his father. He was going to show us our father that the sin of Adam separated us from. He came to show us the love of our father. The God who is all loving. The God who is almighty. The God that has a final say in all life matters compassionate God. Hallelujah. He came to show us our Father. And today, for everyone that is in Him, they feel, they feel the love of His Father. I feel the love of my Father. His love is overwhelming. You need Him, beloved. Your family needs Him. All around you, it is our season of celebration. He didn't come to condemn us. Condemnation is not from him. Romans chapter 8 verse 1 says, There is therefore now no condemnation to all who receive the gift. There is therefore now no condemnation unto those who are in Christ. Who will not walk after the flesh, but after the spirit. The enemy has come to steal, kill, and destroy. The purpose of the enemy is to remind you of the fall. The purpose of the enemy is to say you are worthless. The purpose of the enemy is to minimize you, downgrade you, Cause you to be frustrated, stranded in life. But Jesus has come to give us life and life in abundance. God gave us this gift that we might enjoy life and have it more in abundance. The New Living Translation says that we might have a rich and satisfying life. You will be satisfied to the glory of God. Amen. I pray that this season of celebration will bet a new beginning for you and your family. We bet a new beginning for your business in the name of Jesus. What is not working, may it begin to work in your favor in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. May this bet a new beginning in your life. Good news by day and good news by night. Celebrations by day and celebrations by night. May your life be full of joy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible declares in John 1 verse 14, And the world became flesh. Woo! Dwelt amongst us. The world became flesh. Dwelt amongst us. We beheld his glory. The glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. We beheld his glory. You will behold his glory in this season of celebration. Your family will behold his glory in this season of celebration. After this season of celebration, that glory will remain with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, unto us this day is born in the city of David, a Savior. Jesus has come to save, to seek, and to save. Not to condemn. So the bad dream of last night was not sent by God to humble you. No. God will give you good gifts to humble you. He will give you overwhelming joy. The psalmist says, he anoints my head with oil. My cup runs over. It is the running over that brings joy to him. Not your pain. No, not your pain. Not your failure. God will never take credit for failure. No way. There's no no shadow of turning in him. There is no variableness in him. The Bible says every good and perfect gift is from your father. The father that gave us that gift, Jesus. Every good and perfect gift. If it is a good gift, it's from God. Perfect gift is from God. No shadow of turning in him. No evil in God, beloved. No evil in God. It is time 
to celebrate the love of God. Unto us is born this day in the city of David a Savior. Savior, my Lord Jesus. So he has come to save your life. He has come to fix what is not working in your life. All you owe him to submit to him. Put him first in all you do, Matthew 6. Put him first in all you do. He will direct, he will guide, he will lead you. He made a blanket in Jeremiah 33. Promise for us. He said, call upon me. Call upon me, I will answer you. I will show you great and mighty things you do not know. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Call upon him. Call upon him, he answers. Stop listening to negative voices that God will not answer you. Who told you? Ha ha. The love of God is overwhelming. To God be the glory. When Adam fell short of the glory of God, God came down in the cool of the evening. God still came down in the cool of the evening. Man has fallen short of his glory. Adam has messed up. He has eaten up the forbidden fruit. Yet God came down. As usual. God is not in a hurry to dump you. God is not in a hurry to abandon you. No. He sent Jesus to redeem you. God is not in a hurry to, to, to kill you. No. It doesn't give him joy. Don't condemn yourself. Stop aligning with the enemy and condemning yourself, condemning your life. He called Adam, Adam, where are you? Adam said, I heard your voice. I hid myself because I was naked. And God said, who told you that you are naked, Adam? So touching by that story, by the word of God. That God could still call Adam, Adam, in spite of the mess. It's his song. We were created in the likeness and image of God. You were created in the likeness and in the image of God. So God created us in his likeness and image. So Adam is in his image. Adam fell, yet he is his creation. So he came. Adam, where are you? Adam said, I, hear, I heard your voice. I hid myself. The, the trick of the enemy is to make you hide yourself from the presence of God. The trick of the enemy is to say that you are not good. The trick of the enemy is to say that you can never be anything good in this life. No. It's a lie of the devil. For the endless expectation of the whole creation is waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. Those who have received Jesus as their Lord and Savior. The endless expectation of the whole creation is waiting for their manifestation. We are the sons of God. As many as are born of the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. You are one of them. This is our season to manifest the goodness of God. By our conduct, by our lifestyle, by the things we do, by the things we say, by the things we see. Let's encourage one another. It is our season of good news. It remains so for you if you believe it. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Our text today, Isaiah chapter 9, beginning from verse 6. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. The government will be upon his shoulder. His name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish with judgment and justice from that time forward and even forevermore. The seal of the Lord of hosts will perform it. Unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder. Of the increase of his government, there shall be no end. He is the prince of peace. He says his name shall be called Wonderful, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Counselor. Ooh, to God be the glory. Mighty God. Mighty God. 
he will establish judgment and justice. God is not just a God of justice, but he has accused righteousness and justice on your behalf. So when the enemy comes with molestation, when the enemy comes with shame, God comes with his son, his only begotten son. He comes with the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. You have been bought with a price. You are his own. We belong to him. Celebrate the goodness of God. This is the time to rise up to celebrate God and celebrate him as you have never done before. Adam. Adam said I was naked. And God had to make clothes together to cover the nakedness of man. That's his love. Jesus came to show us that love of our father. That part of our father. That loving nature of our father. That can make him buy the clothes. He created those clothes. The tunics. He made it personally. Covered his own son. And the wife covered them together. Masore bakandorobo sande. And the enemy wants us to Want, the enemy wants to separate you from such a love. The love that can clean you up. The love that can wrap you around. The love, the love of God is overwhelming. You can't miss it. Look up to him. Focus on Christ and you will enjoy it. Unto us, he's born. His name shall be wonderful. His name shall be Counselor. His name shall be Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. He's the author of peace. Without him there can be no peace. Peace in your home is in him. Peace in your business is in him. Peace in our nation is in him. Let's call upon him as a nation. Let's call upon the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. For the peace over this nation. He rules over the affairs of men. Amen. The world became flesh that we might enjoy peace. Dwelt amongst us that we might enjoy peace. He's not just dwelling amongst us, but now he now lives in us. The Bible says in him we live, we move, we have our being. We have our being. What is my message to you? Merry Christmas. Enjoy this Christmas. Enjoy this season of good news. Let it be your portion of the days of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you connect to this good news. Amen and amen. In Luke chapter 2, the angel said, I bring you good tidings. It is season of good tidings. May that be your portion. I bring you great joy. It is the season of great joy. He said on earth and on every home, peace, goodwill. To all men. To all men. So it is available to all men. This season has been made available to all men. Everyone that look up to him will enjoy it. It is our season of joy. Jesus is the prince of peace. Hallelujah. Masha Robozan. He is your peace. The prince of peace. He is the author of life. Embrace him. He is the author and the finisher of your faith embrace him he's the bright and morning star embrace him he's the ancient of days embrace him he's the first and the last he's the soon coming king he's the one that existed before existing he's wonderful he's counselor he's mighty god he's the everlasting father he is the prince of peace he's the lord of laws he's the king of kings of the increase of his government there shall be no end no end to it no end the author of peace has peace in his hand May you receive that peace right now. I declare the peace of God over your home. I declare the peace of God over your life. I declare the peace of God over your business. I declare the peace of God over your education. I declare the peace of God over you young man. I declare the peace of God over you young woman. I declare the peace of God over you children. I declare the peace of God over the elderly. Every one of you receive the peace of God in the name of Jesus. May this season be a new beginning of joy for you and your household in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory. Glory be to the Lamb of God. 
Merry Christmas. Christ came to make the unlovable lovable. Christ came to make the hopeless hopeful. Christ came to make the unforgivable forgiving. Christ came to make the undeserving deserving. Hallelujah. Were you unlovable? Now you can be loved. You can also love others. Were you hopeless? Hope has come. Were you unforgivable? Oh, forgiveness has come. Were you undeserving? Deserving life has come. Christ came to make the unlovable lovable. Glory be to the Lamb of God. You were nothing until he came. We were downcast until he came. We were frustrated until he came. We had misstep until he came. We missed the march until he came. But now, in him we live. We move. We have our being. He has come to give us life and life in abundance. Life in abundance is our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Life in abundance is your portion in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that this time next year you will be alive to announce Christmas. You will be alive to celebrate Christmas. You will be alive to celebrate the love of God in the name of the Lord Jesus. No death will truncate you. No COVID-19 will truncate you. No micro will uh, truncate your jaw. In the name of the Lord Jesus, why? the hand that holds the heaven and earth will establish you. Every hidden trap of the enemy, we command them bow. In the name of Jesus, every hidden trap targeted at you to truncate your destiny. Today we silence them. In the name of Jesus, glory be to the Lamb of God. Just get ready for an overflow. The enemy said you will not make Christmas. Now Christmas is here. To the glory of God. Why not you celebrate the King of Kings and the King of Glory? The enemy said you would not make it, but you are alive and where now? Doing it because your focus is on Christ. I pray, may this season favor you. May this season better and come on favor for you. Favor is answers to your requests. Many people make requests, they don't get answers to it. But on common favor <laughs> is answer before requests. So shall it be. This season will bet that for you in the name of Jesus. Only come on favor. Maragadoria. Before you ask why the matter is yet in your mouth, you will get approval to the glory of God. Maragadoria. Regragadoria. Approval on request. Favor. When you request, you are favored. You get approval. But on come on favor, approval before you even ask. Before you ask. Because he is the one who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can think or imagine. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May the Lord do for you what you cannot do for yourself. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you a new song to sing. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord make you the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you access to his presence. Beloved, beloved, Christ came to give us access to the presence of our Father. I declare, may you have access to his presence. In his presence, there is the fullness of joy. May that be your portion. May his presence abide with you. In the name of Jesus, may the fullness of God abide with you now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas to the glory of God. If you have not given your life to Christ, you need to give your life to him. Your focus needs to be on him to enjoy the joy that Christmas brings. Wherever you are, stand on your feet and say with me, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word. I believe your word. I've accepted your word. Forgive my sins. Forgive my ignorance. Grant me a new beginning. Grant me life and life in our borders. I promise to follow you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you are born again. Joy, the joy that Christmas brings is now your portion in the name of Jesus. Don't look back. No man has been put his hand in a platform. Looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. The numbers on the screen call. We will talk to you further about the love of God, beloved. 
you will enjoy this Jesus that I present to you. Finally, Hebrew 10, 35 on. Cast not away your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. You have need of patience. After you have done the will of God, you may obtain the promise. Yet a little while he that will come will come. The just shall live by faith. If any man draw back, my soul shall not have pleasure in him that draw back. But we are not of them that draw back. I pray you will not be one of those who will draw back. Wait until your change comes. Your change is coming. You will celebrate to the glory of God. Merry, Merry Christmas.